Hey, hi everyone. This is Venisha, and in today's video, we are going to see how to dynamically add a where condition to your uh, SQL query using database V2 connector. So we are going to be uh, using uh, the database V2 connector property called the param underscore where and try to uh, uh, achieve this scenario. So before getting started, let me just uh, show you from the DB perspective what we are trying to achieve here. So um, here I have a simple table called contacts and these are all the records which I have and uh, I'm trying to perform this select query which has this where condition where department is uh, HR. So, so this is what uh, I am trying to achieve and let's try to go ahead uh, into uh, Boomi and try to build a sample process to achieve this um, dynamically. So firstly, um, we're going to need to uh, set up a DPP, uh, sorry, DDP dynamic document property. I just named it as test. And here you'll be writing the bare condition, whatever you want. So uh, let's say in my case, I'm trying to filter uh, based on the uh, uh, department. So department is equal to HR is my bare condition. So uh, I've just hard coded them uh, for testing purpose. Uh, ideally, you can fetch these values uh, from your process, uh, you know, using your real time uh, data here. But for this uh, uh, demo purpose, I've just added the static values here. So once that is done, uh, let's use the param underscore where connector property. So let me, so you'll have to, uh, you know, select the database V2 and select the param underscore where. So once this is done, click on OK. And um, you'll use the dynamic document property value, which we've set earlier. You'll assign that dynamic document property here, which would be test. Click on OK. Okay, this is now done. So let's just quickly build a database V2 connection. And uh, since this is a get select query, I'll be selecting action as get and I have my connection already here. So let me just um, create a new operation. So let's select the type of stand standard get, click on next. So I'll select the contacts table. This is now done. And here, let me just edit the query. So so we're going to be using the dollar underscore param underscore where. So this is basically it will it will take the value of whatever the property value which we have assigned in the set property shape previously. So just go ahead and save and close and click OK. Stop. So this is now done. Let me just go ahead and test this process real quick. So the process is now successful. Let's just go ahead and uh, so let's just take a look at the properties, what's happening here. So this is my test uh, dynamic document property, which basically has the where condition and we are assigning it to the dollar, uh, sorry, param underscore where parameter here. And uh, in the standard get operation, uh, using the dollar param underscore where, the value gets replaced uh, and uh, and this is the output which we have. So SAM, HR, and 32, which is what we have in the database as well. So this is working uh, uh, dynamically now. Um, so uh, this this use case would be useful in uh, scenarios where wherein uh, you don't have enough, um, you know, in some situations, the database administrators will not uh, give you enough permission to import your DB objects. So in such scenarios, you can use this dynamic, uh, uh, you know, parameters and perform your uh, queries um, 
So I hope this information helps and thank you for watching.